So I'm Dr. Brian Burton. I'm uh, an OBGYN here at the Women's Clinic. I've been here since 2010. My name is Jill Jennings and I'm an OBGYN here at the Women's Clinic. I started here in uh, 2012. My name is Dr. Michael Cope. We have a great bunch of physicians and nurses and staff with a fantastic attitude. Well, a lot of people ask about age and pregnancy and when is the best time to get pregnant? And really, that's a difficult question to answer. The age of when you get pregnant is really, or should be most importantly, when the age is right for you. So no one should be under the pressure to have a baby by a certain age if it's not the right time in their life to do that. The most important thing to remember is it needs to be the right age for, for you and your family. Every pregnancy is different. I mean, I do feel like there will be some similarities and there's definitely things that you're at risk for in your second pregnancy if you had them your first pregnancy, such as preterm labor or preeclampsia, but no two pregnancies are ever alike. A common concern we get as gynecologists is how does a woman's body change after, after giving birth? And Kind of the biggest target question there is about their vagina and, you know, does my vagina go back to normal after having a baby? Now, most women don't have a big tear or have a lot of problems with a vaginal delivery. Uh, and you have to think that's what it's designed for, is for a baby to come through that at, at the time of childbirth. And for the most part, it does return to normal. We get asked a lot if, if it's safe to take birth control continuously and to, and to not have a period. And the answer is, if you're on a, a combined contraceptive or other contraceptives that control your periods, then yes, it is safe to go without a period. If you're not having periods off of birth control, that's not normal. And so that shouldn't be done. That, that can lead to long-term problems.